Hi guys, today's video is a digital painting of a girl wearing glasses with some funky colored hair, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, the story behind this piece isn't that exciting, I mean, I just drew it in my sketchbook and decided it would be fun to practice digital painting with, so that is the whole reason behind why I decided to color it and make it into a video. I thought it would be fun. So yeah, not much of a concept, but oh well. <laughs> not everything has to have like a a really amazing concept behind it to look nice so yeah uh, to talk a little bit about the process of this piece so I first drew it in my sketchbook using just pencil um, I then took a photograph of it and sent it to myself so I could open it up on the computer and usually I scan things but I figured because this drawing was so small and I didn't really feel like l lugging my big sketchbook over to the scanner and holding it there while it's scanned, I figured taking a photo would just work out just as well. And it was kind of nice, it gave the whole picture this kind of sepia tone, actually, that you wouldn't get with a pure black and white scan, so yeah, it worked out okay, but for most drawings I'd say I recommend scanning them in instead of taking a photo, just because most of the time you're not going to want that, and I guess the bad lighting and stuff that a regular photo from your phone will do, but for this one, it, it was just practice and it ended up looking okay, so that's why I did that. Um, I decided to give her the crazy hair color because I actually didn't know what color hair to give her, so I asked my family what they thought, and my dad suggested that I give her neon colored hair because we had been talking about um, me possibly dyeing my hair a neon color. Not the whole head of hair like this girl, but like just a little bit of it and I thought that was a really cool idea because I really do like the look of neon hair dye so I decided why not and yeah so you might see a reference picture earlier in the video of just uh, some neon colored hair and I color picked directly from that just to get the colors as accurate as possible but yeah this whole piece was pretty experimental I'm just kind of trying to learn what how do I say this? Like how digital painting works and what methods work best for me. Like I've looked at lots and lots of tutorials by lots and lots of different people as well as different um, speed painting videos from different people too. And I've seen lots of different techniques and I'm just trying to figure out which one works best for me and maybe it's not one method in particular, maybe it'll become a, a combination of everyone's different techniques. I think that's probably more likely, but yeah, I'm just, I'm trying out different ways to do it and seeing what works. So in this piece I used one brush for the whole thing. I used a, just a standard round brush with um, pressure sensitive opacity on it. That just means the harder you press the more opaque the color will be and the lighter you press the softer the color will be, or the more transparent. That makes it easier to blend and overall just, yeah, for digital painting you're going to want to have a brush that's easy to blend with. Um, there are brushes that have built-in opacity and sometimes either just using those or using the pressure sensitive opacity plus the built-in opacity will give you different effects, so it really just depends. Um, I use this brush because I think one of the tutorials I read, that person used just one brush and I wanted to try it. But overall, I think I prefer my square brushes that have the built-in opacity just a bit more because they have a little more texture than just a standard round brush. Uh, one other thing I did was I kept open, um, you're not going to see it in the video because it was on my other monitor, but um, I kept open some pictures of digital paintings that I just, I enjoyed looking at and admired and aspired to be. So I had paintings from artists like Kiwi Bird, who is another YouTube artist who is amazing, go follow them, because they're incredibly gifted <laughs> at digital painting, and um, a very big inspiration to me. So I had th some of their work open, and I think some of um, Walking Melon's AAA, who I've talked about on this channel before, but she's another good digital painter who I Highly recommend you watch her videos if you want to learn a bit more about digital painting. So yeah, I, I had those two, some of their art open, and 
I think it really helped me kind of figure out what I liked about their art and what I needed to do for my particular drawing. Like, I noticed that they had more intense shadows than I usually do, so I went in later and just kind of tried to make the shadows a bit darker, just to match sort of what I was seeing that I liked in their drawings in my own. Yeah, you'll see here I'm doing more shadows and stuff. I think I could have gone even darker with the shadows, but I don't know, I, I'm still a little bit scared of doing shadows so intensely because I don't want to make it look too dark, but I think in the future I'm definitely going to at least try a bit more to darken the shadows up and just make it more intense lighting because I think intense lighting makes for a better digital painting, At least, maybe not all the time, but at least the effect I'm going for, it does. So yeah, I think overall I'm really really happy with how the hair came out. It turned out way better than I expected. I think I could have maybe blended the skin out a bit more. It's still a little rough in some places, but overall I think it turned out really well. And yeah, that's about all the time I have for this video, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!